Hi friends, we're going to talk today about uh, how to get our Excel or CSV file organized on the Uber Analytics test. The last thing you want is to get confused on the day of the exam in the two hours that you have as part of the test um, uh, and uh, just not know what to do at that point of time. So this video we're going to specifically talk about, you know, once you get the CSV file, what's the first thing you should do and, you know, how you should uh, get everything arranged. So the first thing that you need to do when you get your file, as you can see, I have a sample file open in front of me. But the first thing you want to do is make sure that you save the file in Excel format. You know, you'll get a CSV file that you can that you can um, that you can manipulate directly if you'd like. But you want to save the file in Excel format. So just you know, once you open the file, uh, go to click Save As, um, and then you know, once you uh, you can you can see. Uh, this particular format uh, you know at the bottom here you can see it says file format you can just pick Excel workbook format and I'm just gonna save that to my desktop as uh, file Excel and so you have the original but you know more importantly you want to be able to save this in Excel format why because you want to use you know all the functions that come with Excel you want to use pivot tables and sorting and searching and some of them may not be um, you know possible to use when it comes to um, you know direct CSV so the first thing you do make sure that you save the file in Excel format the next thing you want to do is as you go through the questions the last thing you want is to manipulate the data directly in here you want to make sure that you manipulate the data in different tabs in Excel so that you can keep track of what's going on and you don't want to mess up the original data so assuming that this is the first set of data uh, the set of data that you see you want to be able to you know create uh, sets of data for each question so the way I like to do it is you know you can say if you're doing dealing with question one you can set up you know question one here you can set up another tab for question two etc so in the in in the exam whenever you have to go back to the original set of data you're not you know fig you know figuring it out at the time you can always you know that your first sheet always has the data available for you so definitely use other sheets to track each question so you can always go back if you have extra time the other thing that you'll notice uh, on this file is that um, you know the date here is not uh, dragged all the way down here this can get a little confusing in certain problems when you're trying to do pivot tables for example you're going to find a bunch of blanks uh, in your pivot table so another thing another recommended approach is to make sure that you modify this data set as soon as you get it in the exam to uh, to make sure that you have the the dates copied over um, I wonder why uber really does this in their test maybe it is to you know check your time management or something not sure but in general I would suggest is make sure that you copy this data down uh, as soon as possible so what we'll do is we'll copy everything over into a new tab like I said so you have data uh, copy everything over don't touch the original that's extremely important but I'll go ahead and oops it doesn't look like that copied everything over I'm gonna try copying it again copy go back to my data tab paste it there you go and then all you want to do is you know just make sure that you copy all these over um, down and do this as soon as you you get this on the exam because the last thing you want to do is you know um, is figure this out or when you reach a certain problem uh, that you know you you uh, reach that certain problem and you're uh, you know you're not able to figure it out at that at that point of time so you want to make sure that uh, that you copy all this data down um, let me just go do that quickly so that we can move on oops go and as you can see this is already getting tedious and you'll see the same thing in the exam as well it's a little bit of a pain to do so so the earlier you do this in the test as soon as you get the files um, the better it is for you um, otherwise you'll just be stuck trying to figure this out in the in the moment during a particular question and the last thing you want is to figure out all the logistics so spend the first you know couple of minutes on the test just getting your data set ready um, make sure that you create separate tabs for each question all right I think we're almost there 
there you go so that's it so that gives you your entire set as you can see and now you can start manipulating it so if you want to create a pivot table for example uh, you know you can create a new pivot table and uh, if you say date and maybe let's just take another example here and so you can see that now on the left hand side you don't have all those blanks there and you've got the exact dates and at the same time you have all your data preserved on the first sheet so that if you ever need to go back to the original data uh, you know your your um, your sheet is uh, all exists there so that's it um, that's it for for now and getting organized uh, just remember you know open the sheet uh, save it as an Excel file so that you can use all the Excel formulas make sure you manipulate the data to have this date column taken care of in the test and then make sure that you add single um, you know separate sheets for each and every question so that you're not confused and you can always go back to the original test to the original data so that's it uh, you definitely check us out at course take we've got a amazing course uh, on the uber analytics test it consists of 300 pages of um, of um, you know pdf we've got all these three these excel files that you can see we've got tons of questions short answer long answer um, so you can definitely check it out there uh, all right this is uh, course take thank you